Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, Shipyard Champions. Today we have a task that is going to involve another time limit. Only 30 minutes of in-game time are allowed. In that time we will have to deal with a pair of German raiders. These are the Friedrich der Größe and the Prince Eugen. A battleship and a heavy cruiser. They're going after our 20 transports and we have to keep them safe. Save as many of the transports as possible before reinforcements arrive in 30 minutes' time. Of course, reinforcements cannot actually arrive, so we'll just have to pretend that after 30 minutes the mission ends. Your mission is um, going to be using a battleship, two heavy cruisers, and six DDs. So arguably I have more firepower, but they have a slight tech advantage. It's two years, I don't think it's going to be too serious. Point-wise, two points per saved transport ship. So keep your transport safe and you'll be fine. One point per own warship that survives. And five points per enemy warship sunk. So keep your warships alive, keep your transports alive, and sink all the enemy ships inside of 30 minutes. Easy. Um, we're going to be designing three ships for this particular challenge. The battleship, the heavy, and the destroyer. I already have some plans. I think that um, for this particular mission, I'm going to be using the French. The reason being, I intend to have a battleship that chases down the German battleship. That's the plan. And the French have that perfectly suited bow-in hull. Just not yet. But okay, here we are. Now, when it comes to 15 kilometer range, I think that we can actually make quite a bit of use of some decent guns. I have the access to the quad guns. Um, the problem is that it's from 15, 16 and 17 inches, it's only a Mark 1. It's not really going to cut it. So I guess it's going to be 13 inch. And then maybe supersize those and make sure that they have long barrels. Something to that effect. Let's go with... Uh, let's see what this hull is slated for. Like 20, 23 and a half. I'm not necessarily in a hurry. I do want to make sure that this thing has a lot of firepower. Because essentially I only have half an hour to take this enemy battleship down. And considering the amount of shells that I can fire, especially from a quad barrel, in that time span, I might need quite a bit of shell power. So quite a lot of turrets. What do we got here? Mark 3, Mark 3, Mark 4, 6 inches. Interesting. That range looks good. Okay. I have a tall advanced tower number 5. 52 long range accuracy? Wow. That is... Rather impressive. Well, hold on. Maybe there's... Maybe you can have hopes and dreams yet. Regarding our ability to build a chase battleship. We have an aft weight of set of only 8.5%. Which is actually far less than I'd expected. Let's say a 6 inch on the stern. To put even more weight on the stern. And then... What can I put on the bow? What can I put on the bow? How much can I put on the bow? Uh, doesn't necessarily need to be big, I think. So, let's say a 13-incher, the quads to reload in 54 seconds, these reload in 51 seconds. So, arguably the quad is worth it. At 12,500 meter range, your accuracy is slightly better. For the triple barrel, but hey, we're going for shell power. Numbers and volumes, that's what the game is going to be about. Side guns, more 13 inches. Um, you can apparently strap these half overboard. And if the game is going to allow it, I will use it. The, patch in the, the, <laughs> the pitch on this ship uh, needs work. And that's putting it mildly. If I can get a bit more weight to the front, I might be able to make something work here. Uh, you, sit over there. Hold on. Hold on. Put more turrets here. Put more turrets... Yeah, over here. Ah, uh, yeah, that should do nicely. The problem is going to be getting all of them to fire, but I think we might be able to persuade... 16 barrels make an effort uh, if you're going full bow in yeah, yeah. Hmm. if it is possible to condense these 
and just forego that bow turret. There. Now I might be able to bring 20 barrels to fire from the bow. Engineering. The challenge is to get these a decent firing angle. You're going to have to really be facing forward. Like, you're going to have to be precisely bow in if you want to use that. But I guess it can get done. Remove this turret. Yeah. Aft pitch or aft weight offset is still pretty hefty. I cannot put these things on a barbette. Uh, what if I slightly change the plan? What if I go with another barbette? And another turret? Another set of side mounts like there. One, two, three, four. Still not getting to five. If I take this thing off the barbette, I think the game is going to start protesting and going, Hey dude, that's a lot of guns you got there. No, actually it's it still kind of works. One, two, three, four. That means that this whole bow setup doesn't necessarily work. Unless you're going bow in. But this turret is not too happy about being able to fire between these two. Which I guess makes sense. So if I swap these around. I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to put this over here. I don't know if this will work. But we'll just launch it for engineering purposes. I mean, why not? What's the worst that can happen? Uh, a flash fire. <laughs> Come to think of it. A flash fire is probably the worst that's going to happen. Let's make sure it does not. Cordite. Um, super heavy shells. Cat ballistics. Pitch is dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. How much is that going to impact? Minus 15% accuracy. Yeah, no. That's a bit much. I don't really know why, because... Oh. The ship is still stern heavy. So I need to put more weight on the bow? How do you expect me to do that? Whatever. If I make something that is a little bit more orthodox, shall we say, perhaps... It's going to be a more feasible ship. Give me center line, 13 inches, quads. There. Should fit nicely next to the funnel. We're going to go with a center line, 13 inch quad. Over there. Over there. And then my pitch is 100. What the fuck? That is not making it worse or not making it better, is it? Pitch 62. Pitch 57. 55! Okay, so now I can fire 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 turrets. There we go. I just gotta be full broadside. Not necessarily a great position to be in, but, well, if you really want to, you can fire that many guns. Now, when it comes to my reload, I fire every 45 seconds. That is pretty good. I can definitely live with that. When it comes to my ability to pen things... 15,000 meters out, 14 inches of armor pen, or 5.4 inches if I go through deck armor. Yeah, I think that works. That ought to do it. For once, I'll try not to go for the uh, the Bernie Bernie meta. The whole fire disaster, I'm not doing that. Anyway, we're going to be broadside a lot. So, don't care about the fore belt or the aft belt. I do need a hefty main belt. More. Wow. Okay, 21 and Max is out. <laughs> uh, superstructure, like 2 inches. And turrets. 18 inch turrets. Now, if it is possible to put some secondary guns on here, I would be very much in favor. Because there is a heavy cruiser about, and that thing might need a word. As for HE, we're going to go for soft capped. And with that, yeah, you can definitely do some damage. Now, it is a player-designed ship, so I'm very much expecting that thing to actually be able to do some kind of respectable uh, damage, as well as be able to tank damage. 
So with that in mind, I need to be a bit more careful about how I'm going to be positioning the ship. And yeah, I think I can get it done. Uh, give me maximum inner belt. Give me another three inch secondary inner belt and another three in, or two and a half. Fine. Uh, yeah, pretty good so far. Next, heavy cruisers, two of them. Oh, that's a nice looking hull. That's the modern heavy cruiser hull. Um, these are going to deal with the enemy heavy cruiser. And to that effect, I'm going to give them like nine inch guns. I think this is going to be a pretty traditional cruiser. It doesn't have to be any... Mark V? The fuck? Okay. It doesn't have to be anything terribly special. It just has to be able to punch through that German heavy cruiser with haste. Uh, supersize this ship. There we go. Okay. Yeah, if you could just keep that stuck there, that'd be great. Perfect. Oh, I love the Mark V. That is such a great weapon. Look at that reload. 23.9 seconds. And now we're going to increase their reload. 12.9 seconds. What the hell? That is pretty bananas. That is pretty bananas. Uh, these things are going to maintain speed. The enemy might have some torpedoes, but I'm not terribly concerned about that. So no heavy torpedo loadout. Or counter torpedo loadout, really. Anti-floods. Go for bulkheads. Crammed quarters. No, thank you. Increase to 30 knots. Set me up with a funnel or two. Engine efficiency is good enough. Um, when it comes to my ability to lay waste to the enemy, what do I have? 15 kilometers out, I can pen nothing. <laughs> Lovely. And now? Now I can pen... Hmm. I can pen something, like 5 inches, but that's not enough. Increase the super heavy shells. Me two powder, or sorry, cordite for a better shell pen. No. Two powder for a better shell pen. Now we're looking. Yeah, now we're now we're getting somewhere. Eight and a half inches at ten kilometers. Yes. Now you're catching on. Now the ship does have a lot of additional space. Like it has a lot of displacement available. I'm not too sure what to do with that. Uh, of course, we're gonna have to up armor the ship. Let's say I want to have the turrets especially heavily armored. Okay, fine. Uh, superstructure's fine. Four belts, fine. Main deck, five inches. Three and three. Conning tower, five. What about elongating the turret barrels? That would dig into my reload, which is now 13 and a half. If I make these things 15% longer... My reload jumps to 20 seconds, but I'm going to be deadly accurate. Like that is going to leave a mark. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Before weight offset on the ship is a bit high. Let's shift some things around. We look at the funnel to the stern. Oh, come on now. Put one over there. There we go. We just balanced the engine out between the sections of the ship. And we gave it plenty of engine efficiency to make this thing work. Outstanding. What else do I need? I guess more speed is an option. Let's go for 33 knots. Whoops. 33 knots. I still have displacement left. And I already have all the things I need. What else do I need for this ship? If it could lay smoke screens to protect my convoy, that'd be great. But unfortunately, you know, it is still a heavy cruiser. They don't do that. It is possible to turn this thing into an almost 10-inch gun. And with that, your reloads go to 24 seconds, but your pen goes to 9 inches. And that's at 15 kilometers. At 10 kilometers, it goes to 12 and a half. Yeah, I like this. As for secondary guns, meh. Like, considering the threat, I don't really believe in those. Torpedo tubes? What kind of range are you providing me? 12. Uh, 
That's interesting. 12-7. The parts are badly placed. Oh, now they're too big. Because they're 21s. Okay, fine. Secondary armament, heavy torpedo launchers. And they're not 24. I mean, 20, 21 inches is fine. It's going to still cause that battleship and potentially the heavy cruiser to really reconsider their life choices. Okay. I think the ship is fine as is. Maybe upgrade the barbettes, but I don't really know what to do with the rest of that. Just plunge some more into the deck armor, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Destroyers. Now, the destroyers are going to have exactly one job, and that's to keep all my transports safe. So the only job that they're going to have is race towards the transports and smoke them up. Just get over there in a hurry. For that, I'm going to need the maximum horsepower per ton, which I believe is the double-geared steam turbines. This is 75, this is 145, and this is 120. So, what's the fastest DD we can get? 35.5, 37.3. Hello. You're hired. It's a bit of a weird design. Like a weird hull. But, well... I don't care. Let's go 40 knots. I don't care about range too much, but you cannot completely negate it. Because if you do, the game is going to go, whoops, low fuel. Terribly annoying when it does that. Um, yeah, you know, I'm not really sure what to put on this ship. Right, so I got the <laughs> I got the Mark V nine inch gun, but only the Mark IV five inch gun. Okay, now I can I guess have these things provide some fire support with their guns, but that's going to require some very long barrels, and even then it might not be possible. What's the range? Fourteen and a half. That's pretty damn good. Okay, that means you're going to get stereoscopic rangefinders. You're going to get Pickrick Acid. Because these boys are going to put things on fire. As with AP, they simply don't have a chance. They simply won't pen anything. If I turn them into 5.9 inch guns, I might be able to push... What the hell? What can I push the range to? Nine and a half? Is that because of the Pickrick Acid? Huh? Oh. Hold on. And increase this. 5-9. There we go. 14-3 with HE. Yeah, that'll do. I can increase them to super heavy shells. That's gonna make them slightly lower. Light shells. 15-2. Hired. Okay, so these guys are going to be gunboat-esque. Um, the most important thing is, get to the transports. That is their, uh, as the French would call it, their raison d'être, their reason of being. Port weight offset. There. They do need a torpedo launcher or they will not be allowed to leave port. So, let's put the launcher... Yeah, it's going to have to be slightly farther back. Unless I can give them two single launchers. Just to... Yeah, there. Didn't say they have to turn. Just says they have to have them. Well, now they have them. Okay, uh, better engine shaft, better auxiliary engine. Standard crew quarters. Oh, it ship's slightly overweight. Yeah, take away the superstructure armor. Like, if this thing takes a hit, it's going to be dead anyway. It doesn't really matter. I can make him even bigger, but I'm not really sure if that's really going to do much for me. Like, yeah, a bit, I guess. That means I can get the superstructure armor back. Armor everything. 2600. Uh, reduce for better armor. Reduce the auxiliary engine. There we go. 
This thing does have a bit of four weight offset. And I can live with that. So, let's launch. And let's start taking down those convoy raiders. What are we facing? What are we fighting exactly? That's an okay German ship. 15 inch guns though. That thing can probably hurt me pretty bad. It has 12 5 inch guns and 24 4 inch guns. More importantly, what's the range? 14 and a half, 17, or sorry, 15 for 7. Uh, what the hell are all these artifacts? And then 28 kilometer with 15 inch. Woof. That is not necessarily what I would like to see. Um, what's our direction of travel? That way. Okay, go here. Don't care for collisions. Go here. Don't care for collisions. Verité is turning broadside and getting ready to deal with the enemy. With her 15-gun broadside. We're going to fire armor-piercing and potentially go right through the deck. That would be lovely. Feasible? Yeah. Maybe. Split the division up. Set these guys to smoke. No, 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 no. I don't want you to do that. My plan here is to keep the destroyers close to the transports. And constantly keep smoking them up. I should have enough destroyers to do that. I might have like some periods where I'm not able to smoke them up. But I'll do my level best. Unfortunately, there goes probably the first transport. Now this, I think, to some extent is where RNG is going to play a major factor. Because you don't know what the AI will prioritize. That's the CA. Yeah, that's the Eugen. Six 9-inch guns. Okay. And Torps. Not terribly threatening. Can this thing reach my convoy? Yes, it can. 24 kilometer on those 9-inchers. That's a heck of a range. That's a heck of a range. Follow that. Follow this. Um... Yeah, lay smoke. All of you, lay smoke. Come on, Verité. Two and a half percent chance to hit. We have got to do better. We're going to push the CAs in. Turn. We're putting a bit of pressure on that enemy battleship with the destroyers. Now, crap, there goes one. We're going to put a bit more pressure on it. You. That is the Capitan. Work with the Capitan. And go on a torpedo spree. Well, crap, that's the wrong group. The heavy cruisers got the torps. The other guys don't. That's unfortunate. What's your chance to pen me? Very good. They can go right through the deck if they want to. The bow and stern, the superstructure, the turrets. That is some punchy guns. That is some punchy guns. I mean, Battleship has mostly taken structural damage to fires, but it's not enough. Lost one transport. Almost two. Alright. Um... I might be able to use something that the AI really despises, which is any destroyer that happens to have a torpedo launcher on it. Like, they absolutely despise them. For some unknown reason. Oh, that is the level of accuracy I seek. 45%. 50. There goes the second transport. Boom. Now we're getting the damage in. We can do that again, my friend. And again, and again, and again. It does look like the... Yep, there goes the third transport. Damn it. Come on. 
get it. Accuracy should be awesome. Look at that. Pens flooding, damage to the main tower. The CAs are coming under fire and they're starting to launch torps. Loads of torps. There goes the fourth transport. Oh, and the commerce in the fifth and the commerce rating roll. These guys are very, very proficient. We got whole schools of torpedoes going towards the target. Which, of course, they happen to know about. No surprise there. It does look like we're firing all the guns. That's good. 74% chance to hit. This thing is ridiculously accurate. What did you hit? Oh, you hit my heavy cruiser. There goes another transport. Come on. You got those beautiful 9 inchers. I suggest you use them. Lest you get yourself wiped out. Ten minutes of in-game time have passed. This thing is dodging absolutely everything. Oh boy. Jules Michelet. Could be dead. Serious flooding aboard the Friedrich. Which armor does this thing have? Holy crap, that's extremely well armored. 1.9 inch of superstructure armor at a range. 12. So at 12 and a half, I should be able to make a couple of holes in their superstructure with that super deadly high explosive of mine. I'm not trying to burn this thing down. I just want to kill their superstructures so that I'll be able to deal with the damage control parties a little better. Not quite the damage that I thought it would be getting. Main gun, partial pen. Pretty impressive. Dude. This is extremely risky what you're doing. I'm trying to keep you alive. Send it. Range? 15. Chance to pen? Almost nothing? How much deck armor did you have again? Four inches. Also, I really do not need this thing to start running away. I think it's great that it's trying to fight my heavy cruisers, because that means no further dead transports. The problem, however, is if it starts running away, I can't catch it. This thing does 32 knots. I do 23. I cannot catch that. Fortunately, they're pretty badly flooded, so I think they'll not really be able to make that level of speed again. Uh, Vengeur. Starboard torpedo launchers, almost ready. There goes another transport. Crap. Reload. Eight kilometers out. Torps, away. Away. I think we might have just lost a couple of torpedo launchers. You've been very successful at drawing fire, I'll give you that much. Of course, the Friedrich immediately knows about the torps. Come on. We've got 10 minutes of in-game time left. I do need to get rid of this battleship. And I think sinking it, like reducing buoyancy to none, is my best bet right now. It's already doing 18 kilometers away from me. The other ship has just disappeared. That sucks. My accuracy is still respectable. This thing is disappearing from view. Of course, I naturally completely forgot about the DDs. Which, fast as they are, will not transit 40 kilometers in the next 7 minutes. I think they're gonna get away. So, whether or not this was worth it, I think the answer will be no. The Friedrich der Grosse sunk like six transports. And they sent me a four and a half billion dollar battleship to do that. Verité is coming in at 2.6 billion. So it's definitely cheaper, but uh, it's still very expensive as a way to defend your transports. 
Yep, that's... Oh, that's flooding. 27% buoyancy. And nothing. Go on. A, a bit more flooding, we might be able to take him. Give me HE. Oops. Ow. Seven fires, nine fires, come on. Ow, ow. AP. Pen it. There's the flooding. But in one and a half minutes, I'll not be able to send enough salvos down range in order to sink this thing. Like, it might explode. Which would be fantastic, but... Uh, I don't quite think that'll do. Two seconds, one second, stop. Okay. So here's the count. What do I have alive? Three, five, eight, nine, thirteen transports. I've made it out alive. I have lost no single ship. So um, that is what did I just say? Three, five, eight, nine, thirteen. So that's twenty-six points for the safe transports in total. Uh, plus seven points for my no, uh, nine points for my surviving ships. So we are at thirty-five. And then no points for Warship Sunk. Unfortunate, because I did get close with the Friedrich. I almost got it. The ship is looking like shit, but she's still fighting and she is still very accurate. Of course, none of that matters because the ship actually managed to survive. When it look at... <laughs> you look at the damage output of this ship. It's a bit skewed because they managed to hit some transports with HE. And that will very quickly ramp up the numbers. But if they do bring this ship back, it's going to take a while to get it repaired. And I think that sinking seven transports is not really worth it if you're setting in a ship that's worth four and a half billion. But you guys be the judge. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon for more videos.